Hi guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have done a makeup look for y'all. I'm gonna split it up into two videos. So this video here is gonna be how I did my foundation, my highlight, my blush, bronzer, all of that stuff. These are gonna be some lengthy videos, so please bear with me. I hope that you guys enjoy them. Um, like I've said, I have gotten a lot of requests as to how I do my makeup, what products I use, so that's really what this is, more of like a get ready with me. Um, and I'm happy to do specific makeup looks if y'all are interested, if you found these helpful. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to see how I do my base makeup, Please stay tuned. Please be forewarned. In about a few seconds here, it's about to get crazy because I'm gonna have no makeup on. So you have been warned. I look really different, um, but now, now you know to expect it. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And again, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do my foundation. Bye guys. Okay guys, this is me in all my naked faced glory. Uh, do not judge me. And I'm not saying that like I have to wear makeup to feel good about myself or to think that I look good. Um, I'm just saying like I always, <laughs> excuse me, I always wear makeup so I'm kind of just more used to myself in makeup and it kind of throws me off a little bit. So that's all that I'm saying. I don't think that you have to wear makeup to look beautiful. I don't think I have to wear makeup to look beautiful. It's just the way that I prefer <laughs> to look. So this is me. And now let's transform into the real me. Okay, so I've already primed my face. I used the Nivea Post Shave Balm uh, for men in the Sensitive. Some people don't care for this, but I've, I've used it for quite some time and it works really well. I tend to have to keep my makeup on for a long time with getting up uh, early for work and then coming home. And by the time I can take off my makeup, you know, it's maybe... 13, 14, 15 hours later, and I never really have an issue with my makeup breaking up, and I think it's because of this. So I like that. And then I smoothed out um, any texture issues in my pores with this Makeup Forever Step On Primer. It's the smoothing base. I just pat it in. You push this in because you're trying to fill up those lines and those pores, so I don't just rub it around. I pat it in, uh, and I put it right in my T-zone, basically, because I have big pores and some texture issues up here. Of course, we're going to highlight right there, and that's gonna bring your texture issues to the to the forefront. So I try and smooth out as much as possible any texture issues I have here. And then my freaking forehead lines that drive me absolutely nutty, like nutty. You'll see as I put on makeup, it's just gonna settle all into those lines. So I've already done those, so that is all set. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the makeup, uh, the foundation. I'm gonna do the foundation first and then we'll do a separate video for the eye look. This, uh, today I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Pro Glow it's a newer foundation. I really do enjoy it. I also mix in my foundations. I don't know why, like these foundations are great on their own, but I always mix foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of the actual matte, uh, L'Oreal Infallible Matte, Pro Matte. I don't even have, like I barely have any in here, but I just wanna use the shade up and I think it's a little bit darker than the Pro Glow in like shade wise. So I'm just gonna mix those two together. On the back of my hand, I know where my hand's been. I'm okay with mixing it on my hand, having it on my skin. It's not the most sanitary. If I were to do this with you know, a friend or my sister or something, I would certainly would use a palette. You can use like an old CD, um, anything really, just to mix the color. But for me, I'm okay. Like I know where my hand has been and freaking moving on. So, oh, oh, my hair. It's gonna get in my hair. I usually have my hair up, but I look a hot mess. So. First and foremost, this is what I'm using. It looks dirty, it's really stained, um, but it's a Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge. I think it's like their Complexion Perfection sponge, maybe? But they sell it at Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta. It's like $6, and it, when you get it, it's smaller than this and much stiffer, and you actually run it underwater. I let it run, and then I squeeze it out a few times. It expands and it gets much softer um, once it's wet and that's when you want to use it so I literally just pounce it in the product and then pounce it on my face and when you're doing your foundation you want to match the coloring of your neck or the rest of your body because for me my face is always much lighter um, because my makeup product has SPF in it or I'm putting SPF on um, so it never really gets as dark as the rest of my body. So when you're matching, excuse me, when you're doing color match, you don't want to match the skin of your face because that's always going to be a little bit off. And then, um, you know, it's just not cute. So 
I'm doing it a little bit darker because the rest of my body is a little bit darker. My neck is a little bit light, um, so I'm gonna drag some product down there. I'm not gonna like pack it on, um, but I will drag some down. I also put a little bit on my ears. Some people think that's weird. I think you're weird. No, just kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep pouncing on this foundation. Sorry if you can see my mirror right there. This is like hard to get everything in frame without you guys being like up my ass and seeing all of my issues. Okay, so now my foundation is on. I'm gonna focus a little bit on my under eye area. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in their brightener. It's hard to open, but it has like a little sponge applicator. It's the pink version and it just kind of brightens under your eye. You twist it up to get the product up and then I'm just gonna put it where my dark circle area is. I put some on the inner corner too because I have some darkness there, so there's that. And then I'm gonna use the pointed edge of my Beauty Blender sponge thing <laughs> and just pounce it out. We're doing this really lightly. You don't wanna swipe the product because you're just gonna be moving everything around, uh, especially when we're laying it, layering it on top of other products. So you literally are just gently pouncing this on your face and it will literally blend everything out for you. You don't really have to do much. So I'm just blending, pouncing, until all of this is blended in really well. I'm gonna go ahead and use my actual under eye concealer. <clears throat> I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is, I'm so old you guys, NC20 that I'm using. And I'm literally just taking like a pump. Less than a pump, but ugh. Like, that's gonna be too much, because this stuff is super duper full coverage. <clears throat> it really sets so well. It, I don't ever have issues with it creasing or getting crepey under the eye. So I literally just put my finger in it and then dab. Sometimes I'll try and just add extra on to get rid of it, but. So I've just dotted it on the under eye. When you're highlighting underneath the eye, you wanna definitely do it under the eye, but you can also do it in like an upside down triangle. Excuse me. So you want to do it in like an upside down triangle and that will really help brighten and lift your um, eye area. So again, the pointed end of the, um, <laughs> again, the pointed end of the beauty blender, uh, or just using it to pounce it out. I'm going to bring it a little bit up my nose. So that will help when I contour and then bringing it down in that upside down triangle. I also put this a little bit on my eyelids because the Pro Longwear Concealer does have the, uh, has some priming properties built into it. So this kind of will help me skip a step later on down the line when I have to get to the eyeball. Okay, so that is my, my forehead wrinkles. It really bothers me. It just settles right into my line. So that is all blended out. I'm gonna take this landed end where we did our uh, makeup foundation with and just kind of make sure that it, the edges are blended in pretty evenly and nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take another concealer. Um, this is the NYX HD Concealer. Uh, I think it's in shade 02. Yep. And I'm gonna do this a little bit on the inner area of my under eye. I feel like, I don't know if it's the weight loss or what, but I feel like my eyes, under eyes, are a little bit like sunken in. What the hell? Um, so it's like really puffy under my eye and then it's like sunk in there. So I don't know if I like lost weight there, but it's kind of frustrating. So I'm going to do this on the inner area. I'm going to brighten a little bit on the forehead. A thin, straight-ish line. Oh. A fat line. No, a thin, straight-ish line on your nose. Little Fu Manchu action. I have birds right now trying to break into my room through my air conditioner. I can hear them pecking at it. Why? We're just gonna go all out with this one, really, I guess. Like, why not? Rare. Isn't this so attractive, you guys? We should just end, end of the get ready with me right here, right now. So, again, pouncing our life away. <clears throat> I'll try and speed this up so you guys don't have to see it. It's 
blended in and now I'm gonna just make sure it's blended in with the foundation. Again, taking the slanted edge just along the edges of what we just did. Okay, so that is pretty much blended out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the under eye area really quickly before it has time to kind of wrinkle up. So I will just pat out, again, the under eye to get any wrinkles, because if you set a wrinkle, it's gonna stay there. And then I'm gonna take the pointed edge of the concealer, uh, of the concealer, of the um, beauty blender, and put it into some loose powder that I've been using. Um, this one I've had for a really long time, and it's really dirty, so I apologize. But it's the RCMA No Color Powder. It's like all the rage right now on YouTube. I've had it forever, like how much I, I have left, not that much. And then I mix in a little bit of the Ben Nye Banana Powder, just because I bought it when Kim Kardashian's makeup artist said they used it on her and realized that I'm not the same skin tone as Kim Kardashian, but when I am tanner, I really do like the undertones of the yellow in there. So I mix just a smidge in there and mix it all around. And now I'm gonna take the pointed end of my Wet Beauty Blender, this is the same one, stick it in that powder so it looks like that, and then set under the eyes. Okay, so under my eyes are set. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit on my chin because now that it's warmer out and summery, I've been getting super oily. I'm not really gonna bake with this stuff. <clears throat> when somebody talks about baking in makeup, so uh, it's like an old drag queen trick and they would pile on the powder anywhere that they did not want their makeup to kind of budge. I'm gonna set my wrinkles too because they're really pissing me off. So just a light amount right there. I think I just set the wrinkle. <laughs> um, so when somebody says that like, like they're baking in their makeup, um, an old drag queen trick was to pile on the translucent or loose powder under the eyes or wherever they need their makeup to sit really all over. Um, some people will do down here too to really help their pop, uh, contour pop, but when you pack on a, a really good layer of powder, they let it sit for literally like 15, 20 minutes, and the heat of your skin underneath that powder, it's trapped because of that layer of powder. So it's literally baking or cooking the um, makeup underneath and making it almost, it makes it like literally bulletproof. So it's not gonna move, and the drag queens, you know, drag queen world, they're out on stage with a shit ton of makeup on under all these hot lights, so they had all of these intense tricks to help their makeup stay put. So literally people will sit with this, this powder on under their eyes for 20 minutes at a time if they know that they don't want that to budge at all. I don't necessarily go to that extreme, like I don't really wear it that long. Long. I will get it in my eyes on occasion um, but I will you know put a good amount of powder on and then uh, let it sit while I set like the rest of my face um, and then we'll brush it off afterwards okay so now I'm gonna set the rest of my face I'm gonna take just a really fluffy um, powder brush from real techniques again it's the um, brand that makes the sponge, Ulta, Walmart, Walgreens, pretty much anywhere sells stuff like that. I'm literally just gonna dip it into the um, powder um, and tap it onto my skin. Sometimes I will, a lot of times, I'll set it with a MAC Studio Fix powder and it makes it really like flawless and airbrushed. Hold on. The Studio Fix powder is a powder foundation and it's really beautiful, but I feel like it gets really heavy and I'm not really doing anything today except for it's my last day of vacation, so um, you know, we'll just be hanging out with the kids, probably try and hit up a sprinkler park or something. So I don't want like, I don't need like super thick, heavy, flawless coverage, right? I'm gonna put a little bit down on my neck because I did put a little bit of foundation down there and I don't like it to feel tacky. Um, and when you're setting it, you don't want to like rub it in circular motions. You don't want to mess up any of the, the foundation and the concealer and everything that you just put on. So I just pat it once the layer has been added of the powder and everything set. Then I will go ahead and kind of brush any extra off very lightly. And I'll leave on some of the under eye powder for a little bit longer just to set while I'm doing everything else. So there, we look so special. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, another big fluffy brush, powder brush, and I like to do some bronzer before I do my contour. I feel like it helps my contour to really kind of melt and blend in really well. So lately for this step, I've just been using the L'Oreal Glam Bronzer. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. 
It's in the shade 02. It's not really my favorite, but it's giant and I'm just using it. So I usually use it for the steps. So I'm gonna really keep it around the perimeter of the face. Um, you wanna do it on like your cheekbones and then up on the forehead. You don't ever really want bronzer under the eye. That's what we just intentionally tried to lighten. So we don't wanna bring any you know darkness down there. But on the cheekbones where I know that I'm gonna be contouring, around the forehead and then after i've gotten most of the product off i will kind of bring it lightly to the rest of my face i like to be bronzed and tan and i am not naturally bronzed nor am i tan so i do wear a lot of bronzer and it's not for the faint of heart but it is for my heart and uh that's what i do this for you know people are going to judge you people are probably going to tell me that i'm doing this wrong all wrong um but in makeup there is no right or wrong you do what makes you feel good that's what it's for you know so if i want to wear a lot of bronzer and highlight and makeup then i'm gonna do that and if you're not okay with it bye felicia a bit of bronzer on okay now I'm gonna take a really dirty brush, but it's like the bomb. It's the NARS Eda brush. I'm also gonna take a little baby Hoola, Hoola bronzer by Benefit, and tap it in just a little bit, and we're gonna contour. Now contouring is where you're adding shadow to the face to help portions of the face kind of recede. We just put on like this face of, you know, face a foundation and set it with powder so we look kind of flat like there's no real dimension to your face when you're just kind of blanking everything out with your foundation so that's why we added the highlight of the um concealer and everything and now we're trying to bring back in the contour so the most common area to contour is your cheeks so you if you're not sure where to contour you can certainly do the fishy face and that shows you the line of your cheekbones where you want to contour you can kind of do that it looks like I have contour on, but that's just in the viewfinder. That's in the camera. I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything on. So uh, you can just do whatever you need to do to map out those cheekbones. Once you've done it for a few times, you're gonna not even need that. So it really looks like I already have contour on. This is probably gonna be like super dramatic since I don't know. It already looks like I'm wearing it. So I'm just gonna do this. Put it on really lightly. I start back here because you can see and have the most product up here and then just really lightly dragging it down and then blending it up. You don't really want to blend it down because it's going to give you like a five o'clock shadow. That's not really what I'm going for today. Not today. So we're lightly bringing it and blending it. Some people, you know how your cheeks do this? Some people can do that. Like I'm not that talented. I cannot handle that. So I just do like a straight line and blend it up. And I'm barely putting pressure on the brush itself. I'm just lightly touching it. So I always start back at the ear, at the temple, the temple, the ear, hairline, and then bring it down. Whoa. And when you're doing this, you, you wanna follow that line, but you don't wanna go all the way down to your lips because it's gonna, it's gonna kinda aid you. And, and we don't really want that. That's like the opposite of what we're trying to do. Again, super light pressure. I'm also going to <clears throat> do some up here. I don't have a really huge forehead. If you felt like you had a big forehead, contouring is the way to go to help kind of minimize that. I don't feel like I have a really large forehead, but again, I'm adding some dimension back into my face and tying it, whoa, tying it all together with the contour that's on my cheeks. So I do do a little bit up here. I'm also gonna contour my double chin, because you know that's a thing. Just gonna follow the line of my jaw with like very little product. You don't wanna go up too high, because again, you're gonna look like you have um, a beard growing. And you just wanna follow the line of the jaw. I also do a little bit down on my turkey neck, because that is also a thing that I'm dealing with. Like the loose skin of the weight loss. I feel like nobody else has to deal with that but me. <laughs> and then again, I'm using really light pressure and I'm just blending it all out. I will sometimes take the edge of it and do it under my lip. Kind of gives you a pouty look. 
probably do first. And then I do also do my nose. The nose is really tricky. A lot of times I look at myself and I'm like, damn bitch, you got some nose contour on and it's visible. <sighs> but it is what it is. So I'm just taking the edge of my brush very lightly. Like I put it in once and then I'm tapping it off. And very lightly doing a line down my nose. And it's gonna be a little bit more on top of the nose than to the side because the whole point of contouring your nose is to make it well, for me, to make it look a little bit smaller, so I have to like trick the eye. And again, sometimes the contour on the nose, it's really tricky. Sometimes it's really evident, and I really don't, I mean, I don't really care that much. If I like the way that it looks, it is what it is. You know, if you can tell that I'm wearing makeup, you know what, bitch, I'm wearing makeup, so get the fuck over it. Okay, okay, okay. So I've cut toward that. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender again. It has no extra product, but I'm gonna just kind of squeeze it so that it's a little thin line and bring it down the center of the nose and then bring some of that powder back up on the top. You don't wanna blend the contour down because that's just gonna give you, it's gonna have more focus for your eye to focus, more focus, it's gonna have more shadow for the eye to focus on. So it's just gonna make it look wider. So if you can put the two darkest stripes the stripes down the nose, um, you know, close together, and then you add some light around it, it's gonna kind of make it wash away and, and go into the under eye area. So I'm gonna let some of that powder sit there for another minute, and there's that. Okay, hey y'all, so we are contoured, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my crazy hair. Okay, girl. Um, I'm gonna add some more bronzer. Bronzer is life to me, so there you go. Um, what bronzer should we use? I'm gonna use some Laguna, NARS Laguna bronzer. I have it in this Narcissist, <laughs> Narcissist palette um, by NARS. It's like a mirror, so it's filthy because it just catches everything. <laughs> Uh, and it's just a little palette. It comes with three blushes, uh, a lip gloss that I've never used, nor will I ever use. I don't know why I have it in here, but. Um, and then it has the Laguna bronzer and the Albatross. So I'm just gonna go into the Laguna and again, put it on the outer area. You can hear my children. I'm gonna go into the Laguna and then just put it on the outer area of the face again. Just really warming it up. And then any extra product, I will go ahead and bring it down. What? Okay, so we've had a little extra bronzer added to our face, so now we're going to highlight and blush the face. Okay, so now we're going to, now that my bronzer's on, we're gonna go ahead and put some blush and um, take care of this under eye and then do some highlight. Actually, let's do the, the under eye right quick. So what I'm gonna do, um, I have this ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. They're beautiful colors, literally like just all over powders that you can put on. They don't have glitter in it, they don't have like a, they're not super shimmery, but they just add a really beautiful glow to the face. So I'm gonna take, take my ambient, ambient lighting palette uh, in incandescent light and I'm gonna brush up towards my nose. And this will help to kind of minimize um, or lessen the appearance of the nose contour a little bit So I do always do that and then I'm just this is all with a really light hand I'm just blending away some of that loose powder like I said these um, Ambient lighting powders are not shimmery at all. They're not glittery. They're just really beautiful and give an amazing glow to the skin So I kind of just put it everywhere and I'll use these again to help blend everything in to the face And what I'm gonna actually do right now, sometimes if I feel like my face is looking a little powdery or cake face, I will go ahead and spray with MAC Fix Plus. Sometimes I just do it at the end, but like I said, if I feel like I have a lot of powder um, going on, then I will go ahead and spray this, and this is gonna help to help that powder really melt into your skin. So, bear with me.
Okay, so now that that is dry on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and um, blush. So I'm gonna use Max Gingerly. It's a really pretty like neutral mauve pink um, and taking another Real Techniques brush. These are just like really affordable and they're really great quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and make cheesy blush face. And I do put it a little bit on the apples of my cheek and then I just bring it back. My hair is crazy, people. Why didn't you tell me? And I do, I do feel like this camera makes everything look really vibrant. Like in real life, it's not that bright. But I do kind of pack on the blush because I feel like it does tend to get blended away. I'll add a little bit more once I do the highlight. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, again, with the ambient lighting powder, take a little bit and just brush it over the blush and help it all blend together. So I put a decent amount on, but it's because I know that I'm blending it in. I want it to blend in seamlessly with like my contour and not have these harsh blush lines. I really feel like this is a really important step, even if you're not using like a powder, just to take your dual fiber brush really lightly, like I'm barely touching my face, but I'm making sure that everything is blended together really well. So there you go, there you go. So the blush is on, like I said, we'll revisit that after we do the highlight, the highlight, the highlight, the highlight, you guys. Whew. Highlights are like my shit. I think I'm gonna use the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. It is limited edition, but I know that they're coming out with split pans with, I think, I don't know if it's Prosecco Pop or uh, Champagne Pop and some blushes, but this shit is gorgeous. Okay, it's gorgeous. Um, this one is Prosecco Pop, the newest highlight that she made. This is Champagne Pop and then three incredible mineral, well, two mineral blushes and then this is a luminous blush and they're beautiful. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use Champagne Pop for right now, and we're going to highlight the cheekbones. I do like to bring highlight down a bit on the apples of my cheeks. Like, let's be real. I like to glow, okay? I like to glow from head to fucking toe. Okay, the camera overheated a little bit, so okay. So um, I've put some blush on, and I'm doing the highlight, right? That's what I was doing. Um... So I'm gonna use the uh, Champagne Pop and highlight, okay girl, <gasps> excuse me, my cheekbones. I was saying I like to put it a little bit down on the apples of my cheek because I am, I'm okay with being a shiny motherfucker. Like I like to shine and glow and be seen. See me, okay, you can't miss me. Um, so I do it on the highlights of, the highlights, I do it on my cheekbones up here and I bring it down a little bit. Um, I also bring it up a little bit onto my forehead. The forehead wrinkles, you know, I probably shouldn't do that, but again, I like to shine. I like to be shiny. I also will bring it down the bridge of the nose. I could probably stand to use a smaller brush for this, but whatever. Um, this brush right here is an Anastasia brush. Um, it's their highlighter brush, it's beautiful. It's like perfect. In every way. I also put a little bit on the tip of my nose, like the re reverse Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I'm gonna do my Cupid's bow too because everybody needs a shiny mustache in their lives. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, blend it out. I don't do my chin, maybe I will a little bit, um, because like I said earlier, I do tend to get pretty oily in the summer on my chin, so having the natural shine of oil, uh, you know, I don't need to accentuate that with, excuse me, uh, actual highlighter. So again, no extra product on this brush, I'm just putting it on so it kind of blends in naturally um, with the highlight, and then I'm going to go back with my dual fiber brush and just blend the shit out of this. I will say the highlighter that I've been dying for, living for, breathing for is the custom cover drops. 
um, they're by Cover FX and they've been sold out pretty much everywhere online and store, but when I went to the store, the rep, I asked for samples because if you go to a Sephora store, just like when you're ordering online, you get free samples. You can get any samples, you can get samples of any liquid product, cleanser, masks, liquid highlights, foundation, and I think you can get up to three in store. You just have to ask them for it. So I asked her for this one. She also gave me, this is in sunlight. She also gave me celestial. I have no idea where that's at. So she gave me this one. I might put it on. <laughs> um, it gets me really nervous because it's like, a cream liquid highlight and I don't really do those and this is just watch look at how pigmented that is so it makes me a little nervous that it's like never gonna blend out but it always blends out even though I have on powder like you generally don't want to do liquid over powder because it's just gonna get patchy it can lift some of the makeup underneath but this is totally amazing because it doesn't give you any issue when you're trying to blend it out um, it blends out beautifully and uh, it makes me extra shiny oh that glow oh girl that glow it's just so intense it's literally like liquid metal I highly recommend you look into these um, even like I said getting a free sample I'm just barely dipping my finger in and like getting a little tiny bit on and it's doing this and she literally filled it like almost halfway so this is gonna last me forever and then I have the celestial to work with too do we see the beauty that is this highlight well it's kind of blinding sorry about that sorry not sorry um, we're gonna we're gonna put it down because I'm gonna just like paint my face with it and like we have no plans today it's not like I'm going out or anything so we're doing anything fancy so there's that I'm gonna go ahead and spray again with Mac fix plus Ooh, look at that look at that glow Ugh. All right guys, so this is my kind of foundation routine. I know there are a lot of products, I know there are a lot of steps, and it's probably like an hour and a half long video, but y'all have been asking me for what I do how I do my makeup and so that's what I figured I would share with you guys if it's something that you found helpful if it's something that you liked if it's something you'd like me to continue just feel free to let me know put a comment down below email me whatever and I will continue to make some videos. This is the first kind of get ready with me any type, any type of like makeup video that I've tried to film. So please bear with me. Please, you know, cut me a little bit of slack and know that I know I'm not super professional. There are a ton of other actual beauty gurus out there that do this for a living. Um, but that is not me. I wish it was me. I wish that was me that I could do this for a living. But um it's not me so please be nice bear with me um and like i said if y'all enjoyed this if you learned anything let me know and i will be happy to do them again in the future right now i'm gonna go ahead and put some eyebrows on uh i feel like i can't handle that on on camera right now Ooh, look at those cheeks Yes, I just, I'm living for it. Um, I feel like I can't handle doing my eyebrows on camera right now. Not yet, I'm not there in life. They already give me a hard enough time as it is like by myself focusing in a mirror. So having to like talk through it, no, we're not there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyebrows on and then do my eye makeup and I will try and film that for you as well. So you kind of have like a, an idea of what it is that I do kind of start to finish. So again, any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for future videos, if you have any requests, Feel free to put them down below. Feel free to email me, uh, hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat, however you wanna get in touch with me, uh, feel free to do so. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have an incredible day or evening, weekend, weekday, work day. I don't know, whenever you're watching this, I hope you have an incredible day. Um, thank you again for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.